Hey y'all, I just wanted to come by and give you a quick update because I promised you that I would. I did stock the Dr. B's Elevated Paracleanse, the 28 day cycle. This is day six. And um, I have a lot on my plate. As I told you, I lost my best friend and um, lost a lot of people this year. And it's just kind of weighing on me. And I was going to put off actually starting to do this. But when I went to the doctor, he asked me, what was I doing before I put on over 20 pounds a few months ago? And so he said, you need to go back to doing what you were doing. So I was like, okay, despite what's happening, I can't put off starting this cleanse because it's best to do cleanses when the seasons are changing. And so I'm in the Midwest and literally in a week we'll go from 70 degrees to snow and, you know, the 20s and the 30s. And that's what happened literally last week. I went to the beach probably, uh, to the beach, to the park and jogged probably and walked probably like four times. I was able to go sit out in nature. By Saturday, I need a coat. Last night, we had boat dollar size snow and it took me over an hour to get home from work. So, nonetheless, we're here on day six, and I just want to give you a quick overview about what happened. The first three days, I started taking it on uh, November 11th. So, for the first three days, the first day I took it on an empty stomach, and I felt high and I felt buzzed. I was just sitting, I'm like, am I high? Am I high? <laughs> am I high? I wasn't really sure, and I noticed... Um, Throughout the day, something was different and it wasn't worse. I just noticed that I felt different. I kind of could feel like sensations throughout me. And I was just kind of, I'm very much in tune with my body. So it was registering with me that I felt different a little bit. Um, I messed up day two and day three. I had popcorn. Grains are not your friend if you want to do this. He has a complete booklet to tell you recommended, not recommended. And in my head, it said on the not recommended side, don't use popcorn with like candy coated popcorn. I'm like, I only do organic popcorn. I pop it myself in coconut oil. We good. I literally felt like shortly after I ate it, because I did it the night of the second night. I literally felt like, um. You know um, how nails go down on the chalkboard? I could feel that happening in my intestinal digestive tract. And I could feel it going down. It was like a scraping feeling. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10 in terms of pain, there was no pain. It was just a noticeable discomfort. So I want you to know that. Um, yeah. It was, a, a yeah, like fingers dragging down. <laughs> And then I ate the rest of that popcorn like the next day. And I noticed it again on the day three. And I was like, oh, this is a grain. Grain's not your friend. Fall back. So, um, product ease. Let's stop here. Um, it's very easy to make. It's easy to take. The taste is not bad at all. I don't know if you do organic and natural stuff. If you do, it's some stuff that tastes like <sighs> tree bark and baby shit. I mean, I can't put it any other way. <laughs> I can't even make this nice. There are things out there that are like that. And it's very excruciating to digest. And you learn to just accept it as a lifestyle change of things that you do. So that's my experience. This is not like that. Um, I'm... Used to the taste of bitters, but this doesn't uh, taste like um, tree bark and it doesn't smell like moldy mop water. Tasting them individually, they all taste good. Now that uh, liver powder cleanse, it's a little uh, earthy, but again, it's not overpowering. And I've been mixing them all together with the exception of the mushroom that you're supposed to take separately in hot water twice a day and the, the nighttime sleep aid. So those are the only two I don't mix. I mix everything else together, all the other 10 or 11 things that come with it together. And again, it's not unpleasant. There's no aftertaste. I do it in the morning, I do it in the evening. And again, the mixes are easy to follow, easy to take. And then 
symptoms. The first, let me just say, all of this is for days one, two, three. I notice so much more energy. My thoughts are clearer. My memory is better. Um, just knowing what day of the week is, what I'm supposed to be doing, and just like popping it. If I go in the room and I only went in the room to get one thing, I'll do whatever else I needed to do or prep something for later while I'm in that room. And I still come back and I have the energy. Um, again, day one, I felt like I was buzzing. I was high. Took it on an empty stomach. Day two, I took it with my breakfast. And typically for breakfast, I have like um, this coconut yogurt and some acai berries or goji berries or wild blueberries, something like that. And I mix that in there. And I use this coconut um, flake cereal. Then I only use cereal for, for that purpose to make it a filler because the coconut, the yogurt stuff that I use doesn't have flavor. I don't use artificial flavors or anything like that. So the second day I noticed uh, a little phlegm that I spit up. I noticed that I was sneezing and noticed the first two days I had no meat whatsoever. I'm only eating vegetables, uh, cabbages, soups, and stuff like that. Um, organic broths, um, yeah, broths, meatless broths. And um, day three, I noticed that my uh, poop smelled changed for the, uh, the better because I hadn't had any red meat. I'm guessing even though I eat grass-fed meat when I do eat meat. And I had a frequent urination. And um, I noticed like on day four, I noticed that um, when I took it on an empty stomach, I didn't have a buzzing feeling. But my energy level was so high, literally, Chicago house music. I'm going in the kitchen. I do meal prep, you know, three times a day, most times. I'm going in the kitchen. I'm I'm dancing. I'm doing footwork. I'm spinning. I'm doing one-to-one. -one. And I'm just like, <laughs> it's 7.30 in the morning. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I call one of my co I'm like, boo, 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 boo. I'm like, this is not me. Not that I can't be chatty sometimes, but I'm just like, my cadence of my speech, it's its like that a little bit. Now, if you follow my videos, you notice I'm usually mellow, I'm usually chill, I'll get to my points or whatever, but I've been like firing on all cylinders. But I was geeked like a Skywalker on day four. I literally was out of my skin, geeked up, but um, it wasn't like... Uh, I don't know, it wasn't like some type of drug-induced high. Um, I just, that's, there's no other way I can say it. I was literally, I wasn't high. My energy level was just, I don't drink coffee. And I don't do alcohol. My energy level was just up, up, up. I wish it had been nice outside. I wish I hadn't been at a conference. I wish I wouldn't have been ripping around doing stuff for running, for work. I wish I would have had that time to myself because I would have hit the gym. And that's what I was thinking. I'm like, if this is going to continue, I've got to start burning this energy off. I got to use this. It's great. Day five, I was out of my comfort zone. I was at work. So I didn't get to use like distilled water. I didn't get to use my filtered water. I didn't get to use um, spring water. I was at the mercy of buying what was at the conference facility or what they gave us for lunch because I didn't pack a lunch. That's on me. So uh, I switched it up a little bit because I had such a Skywalker amped up experience on day four, day five, when I was at the conference, I took my stuff in a little mason jar, a little mason jar with a uh, parchment paper lid on it. And I mixed everything in there except for the mushroom stuff. I just took that on the side and I waited until I had lunch. I had fresh fruit for breakfast and uh, some tea, but not the mushroom tea. And then at lunchtime, I had steamed vegetables. I had some uh, baked chicken. And mind you, I don't know what ingredients they use. I didn't even ask. I just dealt with it. I had a salad. I don't know if it was organic produce or not. So this is why I say I mixed it up. Now, I did find some hot water. I did take it. And it probably was, um, what do they call it? Um, they probably served us tap water. At best, it was some filtered water from somewhere, you know, in catering services, but I don't know. I just went through and did it knowing I was out of my element and just was hoping I wouldn't have a lot of repercussions. But 
again, my breakfast was right and my dinner was right. It was just lunch. I didn't have a lot, but I had enough and I didn't get that geek up um, tweaking feeling. I felt something for like about five minutes starting to rise up after lunch when I was sitting in, in the conference, probably like an hour or so later, I started kind of feeling like I could get amped up water. You're supposed to drink at least 64 ounces of water. So I had two 17, 16.9, 16.9 ounce bottles of water. So I just started chugging those waters. I just started chugging those waters while I was sitting there. And that feeling started to flush. So day five went well. Today is day six. And um, pretty much the same as day five in terms of how I'm feeling. But I'm drinking more um, water. Again... I'm uh, concerned with um, having enough proper water intake and my bathroom frequency. My number one is too much and my number two, I don't think is enough. Prior to, I, you know, drink enough water, whatever. And it was just different. Um, it seems like my number two has slowed down. And part of the program is a liver, not liver, um, what do they call it? Ease? Lax Ease. And that's supposed to help you with the bathroom. Because I think that powder, that liver powder, I think that does something. And that only lasts about two, three weeks. So I'm thinking that after that wears off, I probably won't be having this issue. So I've decided to increase my water intake to more than 64 ounces a day. More than eight, eight glass, eight, eight ounce glasses. Again, more water because I noticed that when I started getting that that superwoman feeling, it helped when I started drinking water to bring it down. And I mean, I probably drank two glasses like within a five minute, 10 minute period. I'm just like, just go ahead, take this water down. And um, so I got my water today and I'm gonna keep drinking it and I'll let you know how it goes. I hope this is helping someone and I'm sorry for the delay. Like I said, I got a lot going on. It is what it is and you know we're going to get through it. And until next time, thank you for stopping by to watch this video. You know, I enjoy doing this for you. I enjoy sharing this with you and I hope that it's helping somebody. And I love you and take care of yourself and man, love the people that you love because you never know when your last day is your last day. Until I see you and them again. Love and blessings.